Walker, said my father. See, he always had trouble with my first name because he had four other sons. I was the youngest, and that gave him less time to remember me. Climb up in my lap here, and I'll tell you a story. Yes, Papa, I said, but please sit down first. The Emperor is in his wardrobe, his staff announced. He didn't care about soldiers or taxes or welfare programs or even highway construction. All he cared about were clothes. One day, two swindlers came to his great city and passed themselves off as weavers. Your Majesty, they declared, are we going to make a suit for you? Our cloth will be so fine that anyone who is stupid or unfit for office won't be able to see it. Oh, I like that, cried the Emperor. I could clean out half the castle staff with a suit like that. How wide are the lapels? Patience, Your Majesty, said the swindlers. Give us a lot of money and we'll weave up a suit before your very eyes. It's a deal, said the emperor, and when you finish, we'll throw a parade. The swindlers worked night and day at their looms, and everybody in the castle said, Now, that's what I call a real suit. But the emperor squinted and saw nothing. Could it be, he thought, that I'm unfit for office? That I'm stupid? Well, if so, let's keep it our royal secret. Marvelous material, cried the emperor. Finally, the swindlers finished the suit and placed it on the emperor. Beautiful, cried the castle staff. Hmm, it's very lightweight, mumbled the emperor. Fortunately, the weather was warm. A grand crowd lined the streets. Bands and soldiers and even highway commissioners marched in the parade. And at last came the emperor in his new clothes. Boy, is that a suit, cheered the crowd. We have never seen anything like it. I'll say, they said. But he hasn't any clothes on, gasped a small child. You know the kid is right, cheered the crowd. He doesn't have any clothes on. Hmm, this is a very long parade, mumbled the emperor as he drew himself up and held his head a little higher than before. And his whole court followed the emperor in his new clothes, which weren't there at all. <laughs>